Welcome back to Sincerely Ramis. It's your girl Ramis. I'm here to give you guys another video and it's a special treat. It's a story time. I know I don't do story times that often, but you guys love them. So I'm gonna give y'all a super duper juicy one today. So this is a story time from my college days. Um, for those of you who don't know, I went to a PWI in New Jersey, um, but there, the black community, we had us a good old time. Cheers, baby. Clink, 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 clink. All right, let's get into this video. So, this took place around, I want to say 2012, 2013. It was in, um, during my college days. So, um, during college, so when I graduated high school in 2011, I immediately went to EOF and I, um, had to spend the whole damn near the whole summer at my university um and there we got to learn the campus and things like that everything's super duper cool super smooth so you know it kind of put us ahead of the other freshmen we got to get acclimated with the campus before everybody else and got to see what the college courses were like so um uh, one day i met so let me just so this is a PWI, meaning a predominantly white institution. So the black community there was so, it was very small, but we were very close in it. Like if any of us had an event, everybody came to, like all the black people banded together because it wasn't um, really that many of us. So um, we used to have like these really cool events. I remember one time we had like in a student center, we had a date auction, like where they would auction you off and things like that. And you would go on a date with whoever um, paid for you, if you will. Um, but super duper, really fun, cool events. And at one of these events, um, I saw this guy that I used to see around campus all the time. So let me just give y'all his stats. So I really don't know, like height, but like, I would say he, he was at least six feet. Um, super tall, super y'all, this nigga was Aki. We gonna call him Debo. So if you went to um, MSU, I'm talking about, yeah, if you went to MSU, you know exactly who I'm talking about. So he's real Aki. He dressed kind of preppy. I'm trying to give y'all a rundown. So I'm calling him Debo just because he's purely only because he's big. He's not a mean person at all. He's not even an aggressive person. I have never seen him have that kind of moment. Um, he's super duper cool, super duper nice. Um... He's really into fashion, he's into arts, um, all things like acting and improv, comedy. He's super f funny, like y'all, He his personality doesn't match how he looks. So, you know, usually when you see a big muscular, like, Aki guy, you think, ooh, you know, ooh, hard ass, gangster, whatever. No, he's really sweet, really nice, whatever, African dude too. So, um, we seen each other a couple of times around campus, hung, um, you know, like not hung out with each other, but like hung around some of the same people. Um, we, we did share some mutual acquaintances. I won't say friends cause we didn't hang around the same people, but we did share some mutual acquaintances. So to set the scene, he would usually like, he would always had these like tight pants on one. Remember I told y'all he was Aki. He wasn't just big and, and muscular at the top, baby. He was big and muscular at the bottom. He had tree trunks for legs. I don't, I don't want y'all to think I'm being dramatic, y'all. This man was, oof. if I could find a picture of him and like take his head off of the picture. So like, I, cause I just don't want him to like, I don't know how he will feel about this video. I don't think he will be upset, but I just don't, you know, you never know how people are gonna react or nothing like that. But I just wish I could like take his video, his face off the picture so you could see his body, y'all. He is, you know, whatever. So, and I liked it. So when I see no muscles, I was, eh, who that? So anyway, I seen him around campus a couple of times. Um, and you know, like he always was nice. He always um, spoke or whatever, but eventually I started to notice that like, now we had the eyes for each other, but we were checking each other out. He was checking me out and I was checking him out. So eventually we exchanged numbers, y'all. It's shot o'clock, take a shot. Or a drink, a sip, something. So, eventually, me and old dude, um, Debo, exchanged numbers. So, we texting, and, like, not for nothing, I don't want y'all to think, like, this was, we wasn't hard, bad, hard down, bad texting, like, every day, all day. Like, no, this is college, honey. I'm doing me, he doing him, probably class, school, work, whatever. 
But we texting, you know, for a little, I'm going to say a couple weeks. We texting, whatever. whatever. Um, and eventually, he invited me over to his place. Yeah, now this is where things take a turn, if you will. Okay. So, he, Debo, invited me over to his spot, right? We hanging out, we just talking or whatever. And, like, not for nothing, remember I told y'all, he's not, like, he's not, like, mild-mannered, but, like, he's super chill. He's not, like, in your face, super aggressive, like, ooh, bitch, I'm trying to fuck, or, like, Ooh, I'm trying to like get in your drawers. He's not, he, that's not his energy. That's not even his demeanor. That's not even how he, you know, that's not, that's just not the energy he gives off. He's very chill, very cool and mild. Um, so we're just sitting there at first. We're just talking. He, he, ha, ha, cackling. Um, if I can remember correctly, he lived off campus. If I, I think he, yeah, if I can remember correctly, he lived off campus. I really don't remember. I don't know, bitch, but I remember what happened. That's what I do remember. So I get to his, his spot or whatever, and I remember it being really, really dark. And I get into, so we walked through, I, I, we didn't walk through the house, but we like, I think it was like downstairs. I don't know. We walked through something, bitch. And we ended up in his bedroom. He had the TV on. It was dark in there. He had the TV on. His bed was against the wall. His TV was across the way against the other wall and we were just watching talking whatever watching tv talking and eventually you know we're we're college students this is college days baby i know what i came for and i know he know what he invited me for so you know we get through the cute shit the little fake acting like we here to chat and kiki kickle for like a good 30 minutes to 40 minutes now bitch this is where she get a little sketchy. So boom. This man got big old full lips. Let me give y'all a tea on his face. So he got big wide nose, big old wide lips, like big old juice lips, honey. He got a um he has a gap or whatever, just like me. And like I said, really aki and tall. So he's like, me and him are laying in the bed, we just talking and uh, not necessarily cuddling, but, like, we're on each other, like, laid up. So, we laid up or whatever, and eventually, y'all down. <laughs> Get the kissing in. And, you know, one thing leads to another, and clothes starts coming off, right? So, clothing items start hitting the flow, start hitting the bed. And, um, in my head, I'm like, all right, well. It's finna go down. So, let me get it together. So, why, why I'm saying that is because when I was in college, so, like, I'm still like this even now. Like, <sighs> sticky note that. I am not all that attracted to men. So, if I find somebody or, like, I come across a, a male who is able to get me there where I actually do want to have intercourse. You know, not that I take advantage of the opportunity, but I seize it. Um, at the time I was single, I was, um, you know, not seeing anybody. So I thought, you know, well, shit, fuck it, why not? Um, usually guys turn me off. So he made it past that barrier. So, I, like, I really was trying, you know, to, like, hang out with dude, talk to him, whatever the case may be. So, boom, this is where... God was like, I don't know, child. I don't know if we're going to be able to do this, bitch. Why are we kissing and rubbing and touching and he on me, like, y'all? He on top of me. This big old man on top of me. Now, at some point, his thing came out. You know, he, he, he pulled it out. And beat When I tell you, y'all, guozozo, guozozo, I have never, still to this day, in my 29 years of life, I have never come across another penis that size. Okay, when I tell y'all, no exaggeration, air freshener can. I, if I'm lying, I'm fucking flying, bitch, I'm still on earth, I'm still on land. Y'all. That 
thing was so big. And one thing about me, one thing about me, mama didn't raise no pussy. So one thing I had to do was see it through, my boy. Or well, at least I tried. So look, look, look. Just, 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 just listen. So he pulled that thing out, and immediately I got intimidated. For me, let me tell y'all something. I don't fail at many things. This is probably the the one thing in life I failed at on this day. But baby, he pulled out that thing, and I was like, "Where you putting it at?" What's that for? That's to open a door or something? That's to keep the door closed or something in case a robber come in, bitch? We could use this as a weapon? What is this for? He look at that, be all, <laughs> like, you know, all cocky, literally. No pun intended. All cocky and funny laughing and key he had. Oh, it ain't even hard yet. What you mean it's not hard yet? So this thing grow, bitch? This not done? This not its final form? What do you mean? No, sir. So literally, this man pulled this gargoyle out of his pants, acting like he was finna do it to me. So y'all, I'm not gonna hold you. Like I said, I'm not pussy, so I'm like in my head trying to get, like y'all, I'm trying to gas myself up. I'm talking about, can I, if I could be honest with y'all, like, no lie, my pussy dried up. That thing dried up. She was so scared. She said, mm-mm, get somebody else to do it. <laughs> she said, mm-mm, get somebody else to do it, because where's you putting it? Literally, like, Okay, obviously chop off the hand, but like with size, y'all, like the size of my freaking arm. And it was so, yeah. And like, what am I doing with this? Like, I was not mentally prepared, physically prepared. I was not able to wrap my mind around how this man has had any successful sexual encounters with any woman on this green earth because whatever hole is prepared to retrieve said penis. Um, honey, God bless you in your spirit, in your insides because he, he came to rearrange guts and, and organs. He didn't come to have sex. He came to rearrange some things. He came to pick things up and put them the fuck back down. Okay? I don't know what he came to do, but he wasn't doing that to me. So, I gonna hold y'all. I'm laying on my back at this point, and I'm like, you know how you trying to, I'm trying to breathe through y'all. He's trying to, he's trying to get this big old thing in this little picky hole. Trying. And it's just not working, y'all. He's really, really like, he like spitting on the tip, trying to, y'all, it, it, Baby, my vagina said, no, sir, you're not welcome here. You must go. Go home, Roger. Um, and, like, the entire time, he was being such a gentleman about it. He tried to, like, go really, really slow and try to, like, you know, ease that thing up in the, in the house. But she locked the door, bitch. Um, it just it, it wouldn't go in. It, it was too big. It was too wide. It was too strong. It did not fit. It was too much. Um, and like after, after like a while of us like fumbling around and really trying to like make this a successful encounter, you know, like eventually both of us kind of was like, eh, it's kind of not working out. He was like, yeah, I don't think it's gonna go in there. You have a little teeny little thing and I have this, you know, and I asked him, like him and I had like a really brief conversation. It wasn't long. Uh, we really didn't even really know each other that much, if I could be honest. But him and I had a conversation. I asked him, I'm like, does this happen to you often? And he's like, yeah, you'd be surprised. Um, him and I talked, and he was like, you know, a lot of guys and girls think that it's a good thing to have this big old ginormous anaconda. But he's like, honestly, a lot of girls can't take it or like it just doesn't fit in some places. Um, and then the girls that can take it, it's just not all that enjoyable because you can only do certain positions because, you know, you know, even if the red, uh, you know, even with, well, if you are sexually active, even with a average size penis, certain positions um, unlock certain levels in your body. Um, and it allow you to get into certain crevices that you would not be able to get in, in a different position. So um, he was just basically sharing that he does often run into 
situations where he's not able to successfully have a sexual encounter with a woman because it just doesn't fit. It's too big. It hurts them. Um, and it, it, it was hurting me, y'all. It was like... Y'all ever try to put an earring in your earlobe, like in your earring hole that was like halfway closed? It's like that. It was like... It just was... Y'all, it was just too freaking big y'all and it's crazy because i remember it was one event so remember i told y'all he's like really funny he like used to walk around campus with like um what's that stuff like powder on his knees with a mustache and a wig on his head like being really funny so like one time he had these these tights on and i saw like his print and like, I thought, ooh, it's juicy. This was before me and him here, you know, whatever. So I'm thinking, okay, well, yeah, I found me a nigga that's well endowed. He gonna be able to, bitch, he had too much. I didn't never, it's crazy because I never in a million years thought, okay, one day I might come across a man that might have too much junk. Baby, this man, he had your girl climb up the bed crawling for my dear life, baby. I was not about to let him murder me. I was not about to let him demolish my insides, if you will. Can you imagine if that was successful? I probably would not be standing here telling y'all this story today. I wouldn't be able to. I would probably be in the hospital somewhere in a coma, still. But you, Sir Debo, if you see this, how you doing? You all right? Have you been able to figure out how to handle and maneuver that tool of yours? Um, how has it been going? Are you still having the same troubles? And I'm not asking because I want sauce. So listen, don't you come over here. I don't want nothing to do with you, sir. Get, skip fucking data. You stay where you at. You got too much going on, literally. Too much in your pants. But, you know, I just wanted to tell you ladies, um, honey, be careful what you wish for because you just might get it. It might, you, you might think everything's cute and you might think everything is sweet and he might look good, honey, but you go on and get yourself in, the, in, that, in that house and you write you a check your ass can't cash like I did. Yeah, I bit off way more than I could chew. So here's the thing. When I seen how big it was, I immediately got intimidated and I was like, okay, well maybe I could suck it. Instant lock jaw. Because you got to open your mouth. To, I, this is too, like, y'all, when I tell y'all, it was too much. And I want y'all to understand, I'm young. I'm enthusiastic. I got all the energy that I have, would ever have had in my life at that time. You know, like, at that age, you hunching like a jackrabbit. I couldn't, y'all, I would not, could not with a dog. You hear me? I, like, and it's like, I wanted to. I did. I wanted it to be successful because I was really attracted to him and I really did like him. But y'all, it just, what I'm going to do with you? Because you, you think you're going to do that to me every day or often? But you're on, you're on your own. There's a lot of things I could do and it's just not that. So yeah, long story short, it ended up not going down. And we ended up just chilling for the rest of the night until it was time for me to make my exit. And y'all, we never chilled again. <laughs> because... Um, I didn't, like, honestly, if he would have, like, been trying to, like, continue to hang out, I probably wouldn't even have wanted to hang out with him because at that point, there's just nothing that, we can't move forward past this, this, this phase because you just have too much going on. But he really is a sweet guy. He, I, I mean, I haven't got that much of experience with him, but from what I know and, you know, like, my time with him and my experience with him on campus around campus he's really nice he's really sweet really cool he just got too much penis like sorry you need a reduction you do you need a reduction if i can so say so myself you should not be walking around here trying to give that to people it's just too much unless you have a wide set vagina like that lady that was on mean girls he's not the guy for you or if you like paying yeah sure sign up but i feel like his penis should come with a waiver you need to sign something you need to yeah, that's not a regular 
vaginal experience with him. You need to for sure sign a waiver. You need to for sure call your insurance to let them know that you've arrived, arrived at his, his, his facility. Um, all of the things because you're going to need it. Yeah. So, Mr. Deba, I hope you're doing well. Please stay away from me. <laughs> Respectfully. I like you. You're, friend, you're friendly. You're cool and all that. You're nice. But you go on. You got it. You got it. That's, that's probably like one of the only L's I ever took in my life, y'all. Air freshener can. I'm telling you. Can you imagine some purse wearing, tights wearing, button down to the to the ground, wearing man just come give you all that penis? Yeah, me neither. Was never successful in getting it done. But alright, y'all. Thank you so much for watching my video. I hope you guys enjoyed this new story time. And um, Debo, if you see this, I don't want no sauce. I don't want, mm -mm. don't you come over here with that foolishness. Okay? I'm good. But make sure y'all leave a comment down below if you did enjoy the video. And I hope to see you guys in the next one. All right, I'll see you again.